Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, the market has been balancing in a narrow range. We know that the intermediate and bigger picture bias continue to be bullish. And then off the open, we're going to use the 29 to 30 micro bull bear zone to determine the intraday bias. As long as the market's holding above 29 to 30, there would still be potential to head higher. And then on the upside, how the market responds to the previous VPOC of 31.75 and the initial resistance zone at 32 half to 33 half is also going to help us establish our intraday bias. On the upside, in order to break out beyond 3175 and 32 half to 33 half, we will have to see some level of broad market strength and more importantly, some sustained upside momentum. And then a lack of strength or clear cut weakness at 32 half to 33 half would lower the odds of a successful and sustainable breakout. On the downside, a break below 29 to 30 would be the first warning sign that sellers are now starting to step in. And from there, we could quite easily go down into the 23 half to 26 initial support zone where responsive buyers can be active on first test. But if we're heading down on some decent downside momentum, the 23 half to 26 zone does not necessarily have to cap the downside. So if we're seeing a lot of weakness on the day time frame as the market goes down into 23 half to 26 and we're noticing a lot of sustained downside momentum as well, then even though we can get a bounce at 23 half to 26, the market doesn't necessarily have to completely stop there and there would be potential to head lower into 2520 and even 1475 to 1775. Now, given that the intermediate and bigger picture bias is bullish, we can expect buyers to be active at 1475 to 1775. That is a high probability area for a long setup on first test. And that area does have potential to cap the downside. So right now heading into the open, we have to be a bit more nimble with our short term or intraday bias. And instead of predicting a breakdown, it's going to be best to monitor the market and see how it responds to 29 to 30. If it's holding above that area and we're not seeing any major weakness in real time, then there would still be potential for the market to head higher. So the only time we would want to take a short leaning against the 3175 previous VPOC and the 32 half to 33 half initial resistance is if we were seeing excess weakness in real time. So for example, if the market was trading near 3175 or 32 half to 33 half, and there was a clear and obvious bearish disconnect on the advanced decline and the momentum was also bearish, then perhaps it would make sense to consider taking a short. But if the market's holding above 29 to 30 and we're not seeing any major weakness in real time, then that intermediate and bigger picture bullish bias can still end up pushing this market higher. So we want to continue to exercise caution on the short side. It doesn't mean that we can't consider a short setup. But the only time it would make sense to short a strong market like this is if we were seeing major weakness in real time and we would still need to secure a relatively good trade location so the trade has some room to work out. So those are the main ideas heading into the open. Let's see how the market responds to 29 to 30 and on the upside 3175 to 33 half. That's going to help set the tone for the day and we'll take it from there.